we're going to start off with our first question, which we received via email. And the question reads, Exodus 24 talks about making graven images. God's church is international. Is it okay to have images of Jesus and angels placed in churches, study materials, and presentations? Uh, it's so funny. I was just talking to a friend of mine a little while ago about crosses being placed in churches or maybe images of Jesus being placed inside a church and whether that's right or wrong. So, Dr. Brown, is there anything in the Bible that can help us understand this a little, de a little deeper? Certainly, uh, there is. Uh, the Bible speaks about, as the author of the question said, uh, graven images. And of course, the Bible in the Ten Commandments prohibits it. Uh, we know that's in Exodus 20, but I would like us to look at a verse of scripture in Psalm 135. Psalm 135, verses 15 to 18. And uh, there we will see that the Bible doesn't uh, forbid uh, images or statues, uh, but it forbids uh, worshipping them. And um, so angels are not forbidden, but the word. OK, so here in this psalm, it says this. The idols of the nations are silver and gold, the work of men's hands. They have mouths, but they do not speak. Eyes they have, but they do not see. They have ears, but they do not hear, nor is there any breath in their mouth. Those who make them are like them. So is everyone who, and this is the key, trusts in them. One theologian called um, uh, Dr. G.K. Beale wrote a book based on this called We Become what we worship. We become what we worship. And so the key is that we should not give our allegiance uh, to these symbols, particularly negative symbols, particularly uh, secular symbols, particularly symbols um, of oppression. We know today in our society, mm. there's a great outcry uh, about statues uh, that represent um, oppression all over the world. In, in, in Bristol, England, the statue of Edward of Colson uh, came tumbling down in Oxford, England. The statue of Cecil Rhodes came tumbling down. And even here in America, uh, they want to bring down in New York the statue of uh, uh, one of the statues of Teddy Roosevelt. And so we could ask the question, well, what about if this statue or the image, as was mentioned in the question, is of Jesus or, 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 or the angel, someone whose words and lifestyle we actually agree with. Well, in those cases, we still should be careful with what the author uh, refers to as cultural representation. He talks about the international context. There were well-meaning missionaries uh, who distributed pictures of Jesus as a white man and for many, that looked a lot like the master oppressor who had sold them uh, into uh, slavery. And so someone is asking, well, you know, what did uh, Jesus <clears throat> actually look like? Well, we can't be sure. But the Bible does give us some clues. And one of those clues is found in Matthew chapter 2. Matthew chapter 2. And uh, this was when Jesus and his parents uh, decided to leave their home because uh, the Bible says uh, Herod the king was trying to destroy them. And in Matthew chapter 2, verse 13 to 15, the Bible says, Now when they had departed, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, take the young child and his mother, flee to Egypt, and there stay until I bring you word. And the Bible says he stayed there mm -hmm. until the death of Herod. So in conclusion, if you're going to hide in, e in, in Egypt or if you're going to hide in Africa, uh, it, it would help if you looked a little bit like uh, the people of Egypt or, 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 mm -hmm. or, the, or the people of, of Africa. And so the most important thing is only to give our allegiance not to symbols, but to actual people. Don't bow down to worship statues or image. Let us be like Daniel, who gave his allegiance to God. He and his friends did not bow down to a statue of Nebuchadnezzar, 
But the Bible says in Daniel 6 and verse 10 that Daniel prayed three times a day. He, he took a knee, as it were, not to any idol or statue, but to the mm -hmm. King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Amen. Thank you so much, Dr. Brown. Uh, Pastor Bennett, is there anything that you would like to add? Oh, I love that answer. The thing I was thinking about was, was also about how God is invisible and we're not supposed to think he looks like anything except the beautiful character of Jesus. And so we don't want to get confused with he has certain kinds of hair or his hands are this size, right? And and uh, we want to heed the counsel and the commandment there in Exodus 20, not to make, not to think God is like anything he made um, and not to worship graven images, but to, but to honor who he is in Jesus. And I love Dr. Brown's answer. Mm -hmm.